Look at how much MT we have on my no money spent. And that's with this team right here. The team looks absolutely insane. As yes, the last episode we were able to add Galaxy Oval, Sydney Moncrief, and also Diamond Patience Stoyakovich. So obviously the team just looks amazing. But if you can't tell with my MT, man, I have been on that grind. And that's because this episode is about to be crazy. As we're not just adding one new Galaxy Opal, not even just two, we're adding three Galaxy Opals to this team. So Angus, how did you get these Galaxy Opals? So first of all, I did some C and agendas. And yes, I ended up completing the Rush 3 challenges and these ones were exhausting because the first few challenges aren't too bad. You end up getting these Amethysts and these Diamond players, which is pretty easy. But then this one here, you have to win 15 multiplayer games using three or more Rush players. So I ended up doing that in Triple Threat Online with this team right here. And that's how we were able to get those wins to get the Pink Diamond Chandler Parsons. But then this final one was so tough because for Pink Diamond Allen Iverson, you needed to score 50 points with a player in a domination game 15 times. It wouldn't stack at all either. So really this was saying you had to play 15 domination games. And yes, if we come over to domination, you can see I've certainly been grinding. We haven't finished it. We're not really super close to finishing it, but we've got 51 stars out of the 99. And my main goal is actually to get this Sangoon, but obviously on the way we completed this agenda to be able to give us the pink diamond Allen Iverson. And then because we completed every single one of these agendas, we were able to get the galaxy opal Danny Granger. And that's why right now we have this pack right here and I'm so excited because once we open it up bam just like that we get the galaxy owner uh, uh, whoa 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 the galaxy opal animation and this is the first one of three in this episode so let's flip it and let's get danny granger this card looks absolutely insane he was such a grind playing 15 domination games also 15 online triple threat online games but just like that we got galaxy opal danny granger man i'm so excited to use this card on the no money spent i don't even have this card on my main account so just like that we got danny meaning i think we can actually move james worthy to the bench and then put Danny Granger in at the starting small forward position. Then Angus, how did you get your next Galaxy Opal? Well, this one was a little easier. It was again in the season agendas and it was for this Rush 4 challenge where yes, you had to complete every single one of these challenges once again to be able to get the players to then be able to get the Opal. And I'm not going to lie, this one wasn't too hard. It didn't take me too long and the final reward was Galaxy Opal Andrew Wiggins. And this card looks crazy. So then obviously because we were able to complete all those challenges in not too long, it means for our second Galaxy Opal, we've seen it right now and I absolutely love to see it because now it's time to flip it and I love the looks of this card. He's six foot eight at the small forward or shooting guard position. And it is none other than Andrew Wiggins. He's going to be such a beast on this account. And man, he's going to be such a big upgrade. Welcome to the team, Andrew Wiggins. Because it means now we're going to move Devin Booker to the bench. And at our starting shooting guard, we're going to put in Andrew Wiggins. Man, these starters just look absolutely crazy. But you know what? I want to make it even crazier. So you guys can see my MT right there. And as you may know, 2K released these Nebula packs. They contain some insane Galaxy O but also Dark Matter Brandon Roy and Dark Matter Victor Weminyama are available in them. So then this got me thinking, should I risk all of that MT to see if we can pull one of these cards? I don't know. I think I'm going to do it. But before we do, you can see I have some unopened packs here, including just some base packs that I got from the exchange and also the spotlight challenges. I got these from doing the exchange quite a bit because I got some random amethyst that I just put in straight after. And I think we only have three of these base packs. So let's see if we can get anything good from these. It would be crazy if we did. We do get a shake. There's no way. If this is a pink diamond or a galaxy opal, I will go absolutely insane. Bam. It's only a diamond. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, that's definitely a diamond, not a galaxy opal. Hey, who is it? Shooting guard, Eastern Conference. Yep, it was just a diamond. It's Donovan Mitchell. Oh, seeing the shake is so exciting. And then getting a diamond is not exciting. Because the thing with these packs is, yes, they are so good. All the players are insane. Even the pink diamonds are crazy. But the base packs really didn't do well for us. But in good news, we did complete all these Nebula challenges. Which means, yes, we got our free pack. And also, I got so many duplicates. So if I come to the exchange, you can see right here, I've almost completed this. All we need to do is add one more ruby. I'm going to put Nikola Jokic in. Yes, we don't need him. Let's just hold and put this card in to be able to get ourselves another pack and let's hope that these packs are good if i see a shake i'm gonna go absolutely crazy so please nebula packs hit us with the shake and no shake in the first one okay that's just a sapphire definitely not what we want and now it's time for the second one can this one just be that little bit better hitting us with a shake and 
No shake in this one either. All right, that's a little bit annoying. But now we've got a pack that guarantees us a shake. And it's this one right here, the Nebula Deluxe Pack. I was able to complete this by completing the Nebula challenges in the season agendas. And I wouldn't say these challenges were hard. I would just say it's a little bit time consuming, but they're not bad. But once you complete every single one of them, that's how you get that Nebula Deluxe Pack. And this one guarantees a pink diamond or higher. So who do I want? I obviously want any single one of these special inserts. That would be crazy. But realistically, I really want this Dino Raja. Also, this Tyrus Thomas, probably the most. Jordan Walsh would be pretty nice. And I wouldn't mind getting Dyson Daniels. So I guess it's time now to open up this pack. Let's do it and see if we can get anything better than a pink diamond. Pink diamond is the minimum that we're going to get. So the shake is to the right. It's just a normal shake. So that means it's not a dark matter or higher. But bam, it is a pink diamond. All right, that's what I was expecting. I'm not going to lie. That's what I was expecting. But I'm hoping for it to say center straight away. Dino's the one I want most or then power forward for Tyrus Thomas. Let's see either one of those two and let's flip it and see exactly which card it's going to be. Center, shooting guard. No, that's going to be... Okay, it's Dyson. It's Dyson. I'm more than happy with getting Dyson Daniels. I actually think I'm going to run this card in my team. He looks so good because he's just so tall and has an amazing release. And man, he's Australian, so you know we had to run him. I'm so happy with that. Thank you very much, Dyson Daniels. Because I think now, although we added him to the squad last episode... I'm sorry, Sydney Moncrief. I'm so sorry. But yes, you have been replaced with Dyson Daniels. We've already made so many changes to this team. And hey, we still have to make one more because we've got our two Galaxy Opals in this episode so far, but you may be wondering who is the third. Well, because I've been grinding so much off camera, I've played a lot of Triple Threat online. And you can see right here, we're only one win away from getting Galaxy Opal Chris Middleton. And I think this man will slot instantly into our team. So this is the team we're going to use in Triple Threat. All we have to do is win and then we get another Galaxy Opal. So you know what? Let's get to this game. Okay, my opponent has a good team and literally all all we have to do is win this game and then it's done. Then we've literally won this entire thing. We've got Chris Middleton and that's what I need. There we go with Austin. And I know it's said every single time I play Triple Threat, but I play so badly on camera. So hopefully we can actually play well in this game. And that's so deep. But can we get it? We got it. I'll tell you what, if we just make shots like that, we are not going to lose. But here we go with James Worthy again. We got it. Oh yeah, and it's also Andrew Wiggins' debut. Mini debut, I'm going to say, because usually we debut players in, uh, uh, in Unlimited. But right now, obviously... We're in triple threat and we got to win this game. I want to make sure that we just get this Chris Middleton and then we've got another Galaxy Opal. Oh, and we get an inbound steal too. Let's go. And now let's kick it. I wanted, I wanted to kick it out. Okay, well, let's... I want... I wanted to kick it out again way earlier. These players just weren't passing the ball for me, but Austin Reeves this time, let's pull it and let's green it. You'd be surprised though. I can so easily choke in this position. Here we go with Andrew Wiggins. His first shot, it's green. Let's go. Come on, just one more score. One more big score. That's all we need. And uh, Austin Reeves this time, get it for me. He got it. Pull down that board. And now all we need is just a three ball. And Austin Reeves three ball, in contested. Let's pull it and green it. Let's go. That's our final win that we needed. Which means, yes, we now get to spin the wheel, which what do we get? Um, a pack. But most importantly, we get Galaxy Opal Chris Middleton. I know I'm late to the party to getting this card, but he's going to be a beast on this no money spent account. Because now looking at the team, I think what I have to do is say bye to one of my favorite players of all time. Devin Booker, I love you, but we're replacing you with Chris Middleton. Meaning now, this is the team right here. Look at the upgrades we've made. I actually can't believe it. Like, I seriously can't. And we still have 470,000 MT. Also, you may see there, I'm level 30. If you guys get 1,000 likes, on this video, I'll make sure to grind out every single one of the next 10 levels until level 40, so then we can add this Galaxy Opal James Harden to the squad. So be sure to smash that like button. Very random, but I actually have this Wild West Deluxe Pack, and if we see a shake here, it could be pretty crazy. Unfortunately, it's only an Amethyst. Okay, I was hoping for Galaxy Opal Kobe. That doesn't matter anymore. I at least can exchange this card for a base pack, and let's see what we get from that. And now it's time for that base pack. Do we get anything good? Was it worth it? Absolutely not. Just a gold. But um, speaking of packs, I actually think I'm going to do it. That MT right there is enough to buy a 20 pack box of these Nebula packs. I just want the chance to be able to pull this Dark Matter Wemby, Dark Matter Brandon Roy, any single one of these Galaxy Opals and also the Pink Diamonds are crazy. I think it might be worth it if we get lucky. In every pack, we've got a 17% chance at getting Pink Diamond, then a 3% chance at a Galaxy Opal and an under 2% chance at a Dark Matter. Oh, and a 100 overall as well. But you know what? Those odds increase if you guys smash that like button. I don't know. Just if you enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button. But I think it's now time to do it. 400,000 MT. This is what we've worked hard for this. We have worked so hard for this, but I actually want to do it. Let's spend it. Man, I don't know if this is a good idea. We have never opened up a box on the no money spent account, but 400,000 MT has gone into this 
And I certainly hope we see something good. We get a ruby in the first pack. I've literally never been more nervous to open up packs. I feel like right now I want to see a shake or else I'm probably going to cry. And in my big pack opening I did when I opened up the Nebula packs, we got some crazy good luck in some boxes, but some terrible luck in other boxes. So I'm hoping that this box can be one of those ones where we have good luck and we haven't seen a single shake yet. It's not looking good. Come on, with the odds we should see a shake. Whoa, 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 whoa. That kind of took me off guard. We did get a shake in pack number five. Please be a galaxy opal. Bam. It's only a pink diamond, but some of the pink diamonds are absolutely crazy. I want to see power forward for Tyrus Thomas. Let's flip it and see which pink diamond it's going to be. Power forward, point guard, Western Conference. Steph Curry. This does not count as a pink diamond. This is not a Nebula player. Not who I want from our box. Thank you. We'll forget about that. Pretend that didn't happen. Why do I have to pull that card? I don't know. Surely that doesn't count. Like, surely that doesn't count towards the odds. I don't know. Oh, this isn't looking good, boys. I just imagine, like, imagine if we actually got a Dark Matter on this count. It would be absolutely crazy, but we're going to need better luck than this. I didn't grind so much. That's a Galaxy Opal. We just pulled a Galaxy Opal on the no money spent. Are you kidding me? Yo, okay, let's go. This makes the box worth it. This makes the box worth it. Which Galaxy Opal do I want? I mean, Andre Iguodala would be absolutely crazy. I need to try and refresh my memory as for who there is. Oh yeah, I also want Pascal Siakam and Lamar Odom. They're the ones I want the most. I can't believe we just got a Galaxy Opal on this account though. Let's go on pack number eight for Kobe. Let's flip it and see which one it's going to be. Please say small forward. It's power forward. Western Conference. That's Pau Gasol. Yo, low key, I'm not mad with that. On my main account, I wasn't very happy when I got this card. I'm actually really happy with it on this account because my centers suck. So this card's actually going to be really good for us. We just got another Galaxy Opal towards the team. Let's go. I'm so happy with that. What a pull on the no money spent account. And we've still got more packs to go in this box. That low key makes it worth it. 400,000 MT for a Galaxy Opal player. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Because let's say I locked in every single one of the players and ended up getting the pack that's like, what, the Nebula Plus pack? That costs about 600,000 MT to lock in. And you may have just got, as we get a pink diamond right there, Tyrus Thomas would be absolutely crazy. Just letting you know, 2K would love to see it. Power forward for me. Small forward, Eastern Conference. That's going to be Jordan Walsh. I don't think I can use this card anymore because my cards are just way too good, but I guess we can sell him, which is nice. I'll take him. Let's go. But yeah, that's another pink diamond pull right there, but I do think that this has actually been worth it. We get another shake. Can this be another galaxy opal? Bam. It's another pink diamond. Tyrus Thomas. That's the only one I want to see. Or Dino. Center. Small forward again. It's going to be... Wait, what? Oh, that's Danilo Gallinari. I kind of forgot about this card. Danilo, I'll take it though. It's actually not bad at all. And now we've actually got three of the players so far. So we only need a couple more to then potentially be able to lock in the set and see if we can get something crazier. So can we see just a couple more shakes, please? So far, this box has actually been worth it, which I did not expect to say, but I'll make it even so much more worth it if we're just able to see two more shakes in this box. So... Pack number 15, not showing up. On number eight, we got a Galaxy Opal. Let's double that and make it, no, just nothing in this. Okay, gold. Okay, I'm gonna go back to just one more shake. One more shake and I'll be extremely happy. And we're not getting it here. Surely number 18 gets me something good. Okay, definitely not. How about number 19? Anyone feeling number 19? Absolutely not. All right, that's fine, I guess. It's now time for the final pack though. And let's see if we can end off with a bang in this box. Pack number 20 of these Nebula packs. Let's get it. No shake. All right, well, that's fine. I've actually got an idea. I'm going to put this Steph Curry into my deluxe pack like this. Then I'm going to go to this Danilo Gallinari. I'm going to add him to the exchange to be able to get a Nebula deluxe pack. And then now I've got another Nebula deluxe pack. Hopefully this gives us either Dino or this Tyrus Thomas. So deluxe pack number two, can it be better? I also kind of forgot the fact that there could be Galaxy Opals in this. So let's hope for that as well. And we get a normal shake. What's it going to be? Bam. Another pink diamond. That's still cool. Center or power forward. That's what we want to see have come up when we see the position. Let's flip it and see which one it's going to be. Don't be a duplicate. Center. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We just got Dino. Okay, that worked out absolutely perfectly. We just got Dino Raja added towards the squad. He's going to be a beast for us. Man, our center position just got loaded just like that. That box was actually worth it. I'm not lying. As from it, we pretty much got Dino. Obviously, then we got this Jordan Walsh as well. But most importantly, we actually pulled a Galaxy Opal. So, man, this team's going to need some changes. The first change is Jaron Jackson Jr., you are moving to the bench. And Pau Gasol, you're now our 
starting center. Then Chet Holmgren, I love this card. He's been here for ages, but he's being replaced with Dino. And then Dino, we're going to put you into the starting lineup. Look at this squad now. The amount of upgrades we made in this episode is absolutely crazy. Four of our starters are brand new. Not to mention two new players off the bench as well. You can't tell me this isn't the craziest episode of all time. And the fact we actually pulled a Galaxy Opal is insane. This Pau Gasol is seven foot. He can play power forward. He can absolutely shoot the lights out. He has actually really good stats and obviously some great badges as well. Or maybe do I swap these two around? Do I go like this? Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's do that. So now this is the squad and I have to change one more thing. When we come to my coach, we can actually change this one to a pink diamond coach. So if we come over here, I ended up getting this Lenny Wilkins from completing all the shadow prizes by playing five games in every mode. You can see the boost that he gives to every player are actually pretty good. So it's just going to make the team even better. So it's the start of a championship weekend. I'm hoping we can get the win. And without further ado, let's get into the game. It's the debut of so many of our players. And I can't lie, we've got a much better team than our opponent, which is great to say, especially when we're on the no money spent account. So let's give it back out to Dino this time. I'm looking at Austin Reeves this time. Austin what good defense. I, I'm not going to deny that. That was great defense, but we got the ball back and maybe we have to use these new players. We're giving it back out to Pau Gasol. Pau Gasol, let's get your first two. And man, I'm so excited the fact that we actually have this team. Like Danny Granger as well. It's just a card that I don't even know how much we're going to score with him, but I just know he's going to be such a good addition for us. I'm not going to lie. I low-key feel a little bit overwhelmed with how many new players we have in this squad. Like just think about it. We've got literally four, yeah, four new Galaxy Opals also, Pink Diamond Dyson Daniels coming off the bench. And then what? This Pink Diamond Dino as well. Like, that's what? Six new players into this team out of the 13 and out of the 10 that we use. It's just crazy to think about. But let's... That's actually a good shot. I did not expect him to take that. I thought he was going to kick it to the corner, and I thought we were going to get ourselves an easy steal. But we've scored a lot with Austin Reeves this game, not really with anyone else. It's their time, though. It's Danny Granger's time to go up and go to the line. I'm happy with that. What's his free throw? Okay, that's just money. That's so easy. I now know we're certainly going two of two. There we go. Here's Danny once again. I see him running against LeBron. It's probably not too easy in his debut. I'm sorry the fact that you had to go against him, but the one thing I will say, Andrew Wiggins versus Chris Middleton should be pretty easy. And Andrew Andrew Wiggins, I'm expecting a big shot from you here. Yep, it's a mid-range. I'll take it every single day. The crazy part is too, literally, I haven't used any of these players on my main squad. So I don't know any of their releases, which is why it's a little random right now, the way that we're playing with these cards. Dino though, I know you're going to be a beast. And the reason I know that is just because he's so long. And you guys know, I love that length. So Dino, show me that length right here. Show me that length and show me how you can shoot the rock. Maybe not right there. Show me how you can slam the rock or... Lay the rock. I have never gone against this Jalen Brunson, but he's low-key doing pretty well for my opponent. Come on, show me that length, Dino. Nah, that's a terrible shot. You can't put that shot over Dino. Dino's running the floor. We get a turnover. All right, kind of expected. Um, Then he gets a wide open three. Why do we foul? He's now brought his bench on, but I haven't played the best with my starters, if I'm being truly honest. And the reason for that, though, is just because I'm not used to these cards at all. Like, Pau Gasol, it's my first time using you. Oh, Danny Granger gets us a steal there, and we needed that one. Who am I looking at here? Maybe Austin Reeves? That's a terrible pass. An absolutely terrible pass that ends up somehow working out. And then we give it to Andrew Wiggins. Back out to Danny Granger. Danny this time. Back up to Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins for the midi once again. That's a steal. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, well, this might be. No, it's not. Okay, Chet Holmgren, you've got nothing on Dino as he jumps up. We end up getting that board right there with Andrew Wiggins. Let's give it to our boy, Austin Reeves. Stop, pop, pull it, and green it. No, it's perfect defense once again. Pau Gasol, use your speed. You're too fast and finish the dunk. Come on, that's another steal. Pau Gasol, once again, use that speed. Get me another one. It might be time to call my bench on, but the interesting part about my bench is, yes, once again, we have so many new players on the bench. So, Dino, this time, yeah, you got to jump at me. You got to jump at me. We got to give it back, and we got to get the two. The bench is now on the floor, meaning Dyson Daniels and also Chris Middleton are here, which I love to see. Dyson, this time, let's stop. Let's kick it back out. It's still a good pass. And bruh, I need to just play better. I needed... Why am I not... I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I had so many wide open shots there that I just didn't take. Just because I'm not used to these players. We will get used to them, though. And here we go. We end up getting a stop well, with the boys. I'm looking at what? James Worthy here. James Worthy, you ain't missing this. So let's pull it and green it. Chris Middleton at the free throw line for his first points. He gets misses. How do I miss a free throw with Chris Middleton is my real question. He makes a second. All we need is a stop here. We need to get a stop. Let's jump up at this. Perfect defense. We're up by 11 at half. The question is, though, is Dyson going to be better as well? that probably should have been a charge but is Dyson going to be better then 
Is that an N1? What? I don't know how that just worked out, but the question is, is Dyson going to be better than our boy Devin Booker and also Sidney Moncrief? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And that's my biggest issue with him right now. So that would have been green. It would have been a three. I don't know. So far, I'm definitely preferring Devin Booker. And what is going on with this bench squad? They are playing so badly. The starters weren't bad. I'm not going to lie. But ever since we brought the bench on, we have been losing this game just because our defense has been all right, but our offense has been nothing other than awful. There's no way he makes that. Let's pull down that board and let's run this one up. Let's actually get a score. Put it in Chris Middleton's hands. Chris, I need big things from you here. You are the one that hasn't really scored for us. And he finally does. All right. And we finally get ourselves to stop. We needed that. And now James Worthy, you made a big three before and he makes another. And because my bench wasn't great, although James Worthy did make some big threes for us, we do now have my starters on. And my word, that was a bad pass, but it does luckily work. I'll tell you who's been good for us on the defensive end though. It is definitely Dino. He's been so nice. And that right there was actually great defense by Andrew Wiggins, but he still got the shot off. And that's just what that Chris Middleton, bro, I can't even say that player's name. Chris Middleton. There we go. Can do. My word, this is not great right here but is it going to work out for an Andrew Wiggins three ball? Only a seven point game. My opponent's definitely a good player and we just have to make sure we lock in and focus up. So Dino this time, yeah, he just gets across to that. Like I don't understand, but Dino will finish. And in good news, one of our best players now has takeover. So let's get a pick and fade with our boy Pow. And then now we get ourselves a wide open three, put us up by 10. There we go. That's another steal. And who are we looking at here? You guys already know it. It is Austin Reeves hitting a three. Austin Reeves with takeover is just a GG. Let's get ourselves another three. And then he comes down and makes a three. So literally that was a four point play just like that. And um, yeah, it messed us up just a little bit. But Pau Gasol this time, he only has eight points for us, but they have been big points, which I guess is a good thing. And now we've got Austin Reeves this time. That's tough. That is some insane defense by that Tony Allen. And it is such a weird card that my opponent's rocking with, but we end up getting that steal with Danny Granger and we needed that one too. Let's throw up a lob. What on earth is that? Um, look, you may be able to tell that's not what I wanted, but it might work out for even better with the three. That's so unlucky for him. Man, I low key feel bad after that. Like, I'm sorry, but um, I mean, I got to take what I can get, especially when I feel like I should be up by so much more, but this dude's just staying in it. He's just persistent and keeps on being in it, which you got to give him props for. And this Tony Allen is absolutely a lockdown defender. Pau Gasol this time, kick it back out to Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins, please hit this three. Man, Dino's one of the best rebounders in this game. Danny Granger this time, he gets us the M1. I'm going to continue this game. I'll give you your points. I can see why he's mad after that, but Danny, thank you. We're up by 11, but could you imagine how embarrassing it would be if I actually lost this? Dyson Daniels, he has to make that shot. If he wants to stay in the team, he has to make that. And in past years, Powell's release was super quick. It is. It is very quick. So let's make sure we make both good. And it's an 11-point game. You can see he's trying to go for that steal. He still thinks he might be in it, but I think we've fortunately got this win, which is good to see. Dyson this time, can you get a three to go on the buzzer and... I missed again. I'm going to use Devin Booker. But we ended up winning by 11 in not the best of games. It's because I'm just so not used to all these new players. But you can see here, Andrew Wiggins, Pau Gasol, Dino all played very well for us. So I can't really complain with that. Yeah, the team comparison wasn't really the best either. But most importantly, we got the win, which means now my Amethyst prize ball does break and we get five shoe boosts. The win also means we get to open up this vault where we get Diamond Chris Webber. Okay. Also get 5,000 MT for ranking up. And also I got to say, I was super impressed by the squad. The starters especially, they are so nice. And the bench was pretty good too. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would do if you had my team. Because you got to remember, I still have all of these players here too in the reserves that I could put in as well. Like Oscar Robertson, some insane cards. I don't really know what I want to do. And we do have quite a bit of MT, but I'm feeling lucky. So we're going to do one pack. This could be a great idea. This could be a terrible idea. Nebula, end off the episode absolutely insane with a sapphire in the middle. All right, that was a terrible idea. Do not copy me. But yes, this episode was crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for new, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.